there were spaceships present. There was a very large crystal on top of the Great Pyramid. There were some waterways that were in the surrounding area. There were the presence of giants. Uh, there were the presence of the bubblehead, not the bubbleheads at that particular time. The bubbleheads were there much earlier. They were very friendly. The giants really weren't friendly guys. Uh, but you can also view civilizations that are obviously not of Earth, a different color in the atmosphere, more than one moon, uh, buildings that are of a construction that none of us are familiar with here. And some of the some of the images portray actual planet wide images, for example, showing the ice sheets coming down across North America during the last uh, ice age. There are also some images obviously of planet Earth when there was just one supercontinent. There are also some images of planet Earth as the different continents were forming. And there they are, right? Right in front of you as if you were looking at uh, modern-day National Geographic. Do you think these skulls can be used as weapons? Oh, I'm sure they could be. Uh, I don't want to plant any seeds in anybody. Yeah, but... I, uh, you know, what, what I want to make real clear is that the ones that would try to abuse the power of uh, of the skulls, they're going to have to come up against some real strong resistance. You know, just as we might invoke a prayer today uh, asking for protection with uh, Jesus or with the archangels, understand that when you go into the skull, you, you open with a prayer. You ask for protection from all dimensions. And the the old adage that you will reap what you sow, that is very, very true. Now, there are those who would certainly want to do dirty deeds. And I, I do want to say the dirty truth, the dirty deeds that were done against the Mayan people. Now, that's where some real crimes were committed. I was... Uh, I was awakened one morning when helicopter gunships were unloading on a Mayan village just uh, across the, just on the border between Mexico and Guatemala. Now, when was this? Uh, this was in the 1970s. You see, there's been there's been genocide, we'll call it human side, perpetrated against indigenous peoples right here in our hemisphere for a very long time. The there are those who did want to use the crystal skulls as well as some sacred masks that also have some tremendous powers, and they went to great lengths, great extremes to try and uh, obtain them. Uh, there is a history, unfortunately, of mass slaughter that has taken place, and that was part of the reason why I was charged with bringing the skull out of that society that was being fractured. Uh, that the fab see the fabric of the Mayan civilization, the fabric of the Mayan society, George, it's no longer there. Uh, former presidents of Mexico uh, captured the skulls, and then the Mayans had to do a, uh, a ninja in the middle of the night type operation to get it back off of one of the president's desks because he was using it as a power tool uh -huh. and had a dark worker working for him. So there's always, but there's always a counter. The light will always, 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 always went out over the dark side. However, there could be horrifying things that occur at that time. Now, now let's take, we'll talk about the calendar and earth changes after the break. Sure. But you said basically part of your job is to be a messenger. Yes. Expl explain that. Well, the message is, uh, there were a couple of messages. The, the first and the primary one was that the Mayan calendar is the end of the Mayan time for, uh, for possession, for holding on to the skulls. Uh, after, after 2012, there will be no Mayan society.
society left. There, George, there really is not a Mayan society left today. The earth changes that are going to occur, uh, they're going to be very, very dramatic. And they're, 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 there was mandated upon myself to bring the skull out, to get it up here into the fifth world, and to also convey the beautiful information that's there. That, look, we have a tool that is a Stargate. I was told, that, and it was not a slip of the tongue, Francesco said, you have to go back to the future, Ricardo. And so that's what I was charged with doing. That was to come forward, present the skull, present the information, and let it be known that the Mayans knew, the Mayans know, see, that 2012, that's the end for them. Uh, and that's why their calendar does not continue. And, and that message was to be to be translated out so that the calendar could be fulfilled. You see, the the unless we came unless they were able to convey the the shaman's message was don't worry about us. We know our society, our civilization is over. Past two thousand and twelve we're going into a new world. Our time is finished. And this new world tool, this quantum tool, this Stargate that is going to be so important for the future of humanity. We have to have it out. We have to have it ready and available for the entire human race. So today, yes, we're conveying this message tonight to millions, and it is incumbent upon every one of us that is listening to this, George, to prepare. Um, to take a look at the technology that's available today and to prepare for these coming very cataclysmic times. That is not, that is not doom and gloom. Uh, we will have a very, very bright future, but we do have to prepare for it. And now you see, know that they're through. Now you know the old saying, let's gaze into your crystal ball and look into the future. Sure. Do these skulls have that ability as well? Most certainly they do. Uh, you see, when we talk about something being quantum, space, time, and distance, they don't matter. Time is something that we can figure to kind of keep everything from happening at once. Now, when you, when you look into the future, uh, Oh, I can think of the show, for example, recently when we were uh, talking, when you were talking about the Merlin Spike, okay, mm -hmm. and that there would be uh, these years that are, that are leading up to 2012. Oh, my gosh, we've got some real spikes occurring that mean there's going to be some very tumultuous times. Now, when you look into the Crystal Skull, yes, you can see some very cataclysmic events occurring. The uh, North American continent is going to take some real heavy punches. Earth, but these are norm, normal. These are not, it's not punishment. It's not retribution. It doesn't mean that we've all gone bad and that we're being punished. No. These are normal Earth cycles. Some will perish. Some will survive. And the future record of them, yes, we have been able to see and observe that. So rather than be terrified about it, let's, let's take advantage of we're being presented with a quantum tool that allows us to see. If we can see, let's prepare for what those upcoming changes are going to be. Well, and they're going to be happening indeed. Stay with us. We'll talk next about these earth changes on Coast to Coast AM. Well, those of you in the Los Angeles area, UFOs, magic, and mysticism in Hollywood, I'm going to participate in a panel discussion on the hidden secrets. That's going to be Saturday, May 17th in Los Angeles. If you go to the coasttocoastam.com website, Right there under the Mayan Crystal Skull story, you'll see a link directly to that. Come on out and see us. There's going to be a little benefit also as well. And uh, I can't say too much about that yet because the person who the benefit is going to be for, I'm not sure knows about that. So come on out, 
Further information, coasttocoastam.com. Richard Shafsky, our guest right here on... 